Protect yourself at all times. Good, good luck, all the best. So there goes the battle. This scheduled for 10 rounds in the black trunks there. He's boxing out of the south. In 2008, they're knocked out in top level international amateur London 2012. But he's yet to really step up as a pro half of the fight. And he very nearly lost. He has to start doing that soon. He was still trying to shed that amateur stuff. Boxing as an amateur. Rodenko just reaching for right hand there. There. The Jule has a lovely jab. But yeah, pick the, that letter. So final 10 seconds of round one. Another. Interested to see how he shots. With that pedigree I've touched on. This fight pans out. We will count you, Jule. He's found his range pretty well in this opening round. In Monte Carlo, it's a very neat. Like you say, it, it is a lovely place. Strange atmosphere. Looking good here, Julie. Picking the shots really well. Back, relaxed kind of a place. Well, Rodenko will back when he inside in Germany a few weeks ago. He really got some well. Good looking. Left hand there, Jagger. Like what I'm seeing from Julie here. But it wasn't anything more serious than that. First and foremost, that is utterly crucial. Slipping and sliding, taking that little step back out of range. Great interest. I think he was able to be a superstar there. He'll do that too. Landing that nice straight left hand, and again. He's not too fussy where he landed either. He's not always head hunting as he can every single one of them, I'm sure, including the one that's been quite as good as they might have hoped that he would be, but looking at him, trying to figure out a way that they can penetrate him and just took his foot off the gas. Jule, he just stopped throwing shots, but I think if he would check here, he's managed to penetrate through Denko's defences. These are good punches and ready to jump in and stop the contest. That was a very good shot. So impressed with how quickly he can it's a head and body. Always thinking you can tell, oh, I'll take my time, I won't do anything silly, I won't get to pedigree. That great guy IQ when you hit later on in the fight. I think I was well enough. But again, he gets back to work here and looking into the contest, you think to yourself, why this is beginning to come apart. Go again and again. You know, he's a little one pace to go to really make he's heavy handed. Jule Zhang. Allow Rodenko just to try and... Jule acknowledging that at times. Look, but Jule Zhang. Work his way back into it. With the left hand, I expect to see more of that. Red with the... Caught by those good... Sharp, accurate... Point. Some energy. Go the distance and what you seen in front of the south southwest stance of Jude would be quite what it ought to be. And that's a good combination for left hand. And Alexi gets to work on the left hand of the nose. That's a good left hand from Jude. And I think it's hurt here. And it's hurt in time. And it's clocked in down. It's a good boxing from Jude Zhang. Good left to have a more of a sustained attack in counter. Good go. Jang had a big round in that previous round, and when he puts his punches as aggressive as he can be without being reckless, Rodenko. You know, I, I think Julio Jang would be quite happy. Would like to maybe see him go through the gear, but other than that, it's been a, a good performance so far. He's got such crisp counter snap seams. To... You see that right hand there? He throws it, brings it back pretty quick. There wasn't either that or he's taken around. You see it in the previous round, but it does sustain an attack. If you feel you need to take off, but in my opinion, this is better than going. So, find a few seconds. It's been Rodenko who's been on the front foot. It's worked hard. Sick attack out, which was back at the end of May, which didn't happen, of course. And did happen, and that fight with Rebecca didn't have majored off up against Tom Nipple. It's just heavy. He's absolutely. Uh, but I, I can't wait for next weekend. I'm really, really looking forward to it. How many early finishes he's, he's over the moon that won't be there. Relative lack of 
activity. A bit of a strange situation to have so many exes are out of there. Marcus said earlier, you know, Nick might get hurt for the Bingo to win the final three rounds, but that would be enough to get him a draw. Philip Hugovic, who's in action against Oscar, but because no one's going to give him a voluntary. Some upsets in the division. This is going to be different. Difficult for him. He's getting slightly frustrated. I'm going to give him that power. He senses it. Yeah, close yeah, to him. Yeah. 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 I can see him just clicking his close enough that he's safe. I definitely felt one there. It's a good word. It's better. We can't just allow him to, to plod forward. Don't wait here, Enco. Which is what you always do. time last year, but the ranking was guessed. Well, thank you, that's a good one. I'm not sure if Zhang was as aware. Right, but the twist heels, and he needs to step in here, Zhang, and as we've been saying... The touch of Hunter for Beckham. There's no memes. It will hinder his progress, I think. Move out, Zhang Jelay, and think, you know, that will be the problem, I think. You can obviously work on that, but you've got to remember he's 36, he's a good boxer. The curve ring you know, moves his feet very well. In the black and red, it doesn't look like he will be here. There are things, but, you know, they, they, oh, I love the boxing IQ that he does have. I've given Radenko too much. Big right hand, he looks like a match level here, and then he does land Gilles Zhang. There is a real weight to it. A huge amount of respect for him. Some of the rounds have been a bit frustrated, but look, it's another win. I don't need to do anything. And hopefully we'll get a good ovation for both of these two. Zhang, Big Bang, Gilles.